The other panelist to join us here is Ariet Ario from Viv Vivian Fowler Girls Memorial College, Lagos. Ariet Ario, please. Can you join? And last but not the least is from FG C Ikeru Olanio Ismaili. Thank you. Thank you. And I will just simply usher in my very good self to moderate the session. Thank you very much. Can I'm sorry. So, DJ, can you give us extra microphones, please? So, I would like to start off by um, welcoming you once again. Yes, and um, I would like you to just um, start it off. You can pass the mic to her over there. Um, that's um, Anita, right? Good. Just quickly tell us um, um, your class in your school, and if this is your first time with. Uh, the first Lego League program, or you've done this before, and um, uh, just tell us your simple interest, you know, in 30 seconds, quickly. And that would be, so I wouldn't need to repeat myself. All of you just do the same thing quickly. Thank you. Okay, I'm Baido Manita. I'm an SS3 student. It's my first time in first Lego League, of which is my last time because I won't be coming back again. Well, my personal interest for robotics because I've joined the club for a very long time. The club in school is called Digital Girls Club. Well, I, my things have changed a lot. Going back home, my dad always sees me concentrate on things that he has never expected. I love to sit, create things that we see, and I saw it from my own vision, it's going to change the world. So in my own aspect, I'm a young girl, and every day I woke, wake up, my prayer to God is that he will give me the grace and ability to create something that will affect not only me, not only girls, but the world at large, and to make a world a better place to live. Fantastic. Thank you. That, let's jump the coach. Let's, um, we'll come back to you. Fantastic. That's inspirational to me. Um, good morning, everyone. My name is Harriet Aria, and I am an SS3 student in Vivian Fowler Memorial College for Girls in Ikeja, Lagos. Um, this would be my fourth year of in participating with FIRST. Um, our team is currently an FCC team. We are the Technobots, Team 19512. But we started as an FLL team, and we actually attended the 2020 Nationals, which were held in Abuja in Bayes University. And currently, we have been to two international competitions. We've been to the Asian Pacific Open Championships in Sydney, Australia last year. And we're also, we're also, we also participated in the World Championships in Houston in 2022. And my simple goal and the main reason I joined robotics is because I aspire to see more women in STEM every day. And as an all-girls team, we'll continue to break barriers. And I hope that we'll be able to encourage other girls around the world to follow their dreams in STEM. Fantastic, thank you. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I'm inspired. I feel like going back to secondary school so that I can get this inspiration. Yes, thank you. Yes, I'm, I'm in a student. And this actually is my first time. Can you s <coughs> repeat it yourself again? I said I'm in a student. And this is my first time attending this challenge. My main goal for actually joining this challenge is to build myself. You see, the world is evolving and technology is the future. Yes, of course, the future is now. So I'm actually someone that believes in working myself, working on myself, yes. Because by the time we will go, because by the future, 
and we're still young now. So by the time we go, the the future workforce is going to be con- constituted of mainly people that are actually digital literate. So I see this as, as an avenue to actually build myself because I don't want to be left behind in the future because I have gathered from past experience that the adult of now had this don't have, didn't have the opportunity that we are actually enjoying now. So I don't want to be left behind. Thank you. Thank you, Ismail, for reminding me that I did not uh, do repo- robotics when I was uh, your age. Thank you for reminding me that. <laughs> Thank you. So, our coach, you want to tell us a little bit uh, about yourself? 30 seconds. All right. Well, I'm Ogbaje Christian. I'm the coach of Federal Science and Technical College, Orozo. I really want to thank Koderina, the Federal Minister of Education, for bringing this program as in a time like this. I feel honored and I'm, I take this as a privilege. And I want to say I'm grateful, most especially to my principal. I also want to tell you that I am passionate about seeing young ones who are ready to learn, who are ready to impact and change the nation Nigeria. And because of that, I put in all my effort to ensure that they are up to date with the revolving world. You know, the world is all about tech. In the future, we don't have anything to talk about apart from technology. And I'm passionate about it. And for the past three to four years, I have been consistent to ensure that my students are the best. They participate in almost every activities and not just participating to come out among the best and to deliver, not for them, not for me to put them through or for me to help them, but for them to have the knowledge of what is being done. And I can boldly say that because of that, most of them can stand on their own and can deliver in the field of technology. Fantastic. And that's what mentor that's what mentorship is about. You have to inspire the people that look up to you. Thank you very much. So I have a question here that has been bothering my mind. Um, we're talking about skills of the future and uh, Ismail, right? Mentioned that in his short introduction about the skills for the future and how you have to have the skills that will allow you to become employable when you leave school. And we're talking about robotics, which is what we've been doing, and how it uh, enhances you know, creative thinking and um, critical competencies for you when you begin um, to work. So can you identify the skills needed for success in the future of work? And I would like you, it's not, this is not an exam. Just say what's on your mind. You know, just let's have a meeting of minds about um, what are those things. How has the robotic competition itself contributed to this skill development? Do you understand? And I'll start off with um, Harriet, right? Okay, Harriet. Um, For the future of work, I believe that there are many different skills, of course, that will be needed for the future of work, but there's some particular things that stick out to me. And number one would be innovation and a creative spirit, in the sense that the world is continuously evolving, and with the introduction of AI and technology, um, things created by people are becoming less and less original, which also relates to the theme of this season, which has to do with integrating art into STEM. And it's an issue nowadays with people using AI to submit their assignments and do their projects. And maintaining your own originality and creativity and an innovative spirit in a world which is continuously losing that, I feel like that will make you stand out so much more in the field of work or in the labor force because everyone will be able to see you as someone who has a distinct um, touch to whatever they create. Fantastic. So the key element for you, please a round of applause for her. The key element for you there is creativity, actually being able to apply your minds into the creating things and not just um, copying things like what um, people are just doing online these days, yeah? Fantastic, I like that. Um, Ismail, what do you think? So you see, we have hard workers and then we have smart workers. The future is for the smart workers and not for the hard workers. But if adventure are able to combine both hard work and smart work together, 